Hey, what's up guys? It's Lit with Ray. This weekend I had an opportunity to go disc golfing. Over the last couple of months I've gone several times, I haven't actually gone for several years before that, so I had to get back into, into the mode of doing it. We started off on the first hole for a good warm up. Neither of us are very good at this, but we're definitely learning as much as possible and it's a skill just like anything else. The more you work on it, the better you'll get. On that first hole, I ended up losing my disc inside of a hole. I had to dig it out. Shortly after, we actually got kicked off of the course because they were doing some sort of competition. And because this particular course has 27 different holes, baskets, whatever, we ended up just moving to the middle nine. <laughs> I will tell you, uh, <laughs> and even pros will do this, I hit more trees than I did when I first got my license. It's frustrating. It was embarrassing. But it was still a ton of fun. That one? When we first started up back in August, we ran into a group of three players. They gave us a little bit of advice how to throw the disc. I, it's been so long, I don't even remember. How the hell do you throw a disc? It was hilarious to watch. What do you want? This guy. This guy is being super annoying right now. And my girlfriend's gonna hate this, but I've been teaching him every single word associated with. I might be slightly evil. It's a lot of fur. Right now, it looks like I'm in one of those snow globes that when you shake up, except there's fur everywhere. Moving on. Now, when you guys are playing, it's important to throw across your chest, uh, more so in a straight line. Imagine you are whipping a towel out, right? That's the motion that you wanna take when you throw the disc. Obviously, you wanna line it up. And as much as you try to avoid those trees, <laughs> you're not going to. They're going to get in the way. You are definitely going to get stuck walking into the bushes, probably getting caught on some thorns or prickers while you try and grab your disc so that way you can relaunch. Everything was going really well and then disaster struck on the 13th hole. It was way too easy to get that disc in the water. We both did. She's definitely showing me up on the intelligence side of things because her approach was a lot smarter and she didn't get her feet wet. I hate, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely hate having wet feet. <laughs> you know that feeling when one part of your body is dry and the other part is wet and it's super annoying? 
So like whenever I run my hand underwater, the other one has to go in even though it doesn't have to get wet. I just have that feeling like, ugh. Do you guys feel the same way? I don't know. Maybe I'm alone here. And then I just had some really stupid shots where it was right at the basket, toss it and it doesn't even make it in. Who does that? nice when you get a nice spread out area without many trees that does make it a lot easier it's a lot of great exercise too that was very good even though we're not as active throughout it I mean you spend a couple of seconds lining up your shot a few more seconds to throw it you walk and you chase the disc down and then you repeat it overall I think it took us about an hour and a half to complete those nine holes maybe even just an hour but afterwards it, it takes a lot of energy out of you. Unfortunately, it's not always going to be easy. In fact, it's probably gonna be pretty hard. When you wake up in the morning after your first shoot, you are going to be sore. It's a good sport just to make fun of yourself and to play a good game. It's a ton of fun if you guys haven't done it before. Check it out. I mean, a lot of places are free. Other places, they'll charge you a very small amount just to go for the day. When me and her go, it's, depending on the season, obviously, they're gonna charge like $3 a person for the day. And there's other things to do at the park besides play disc golf, but it's one of many things. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit subscribe. If you guys like these adventure type videos, let me know. Leave some comments. Let me know if you've ever been disc golfing before, if you're willing to try it. Maybe you guys can offer some better advice as to how to get better, if you've done it before. If you haven't, I gotta be honest, I don't really wanna take your advice. That's like trying to learn money management skills from somebody who's completely broke. No offense. Share this with your friends and I'll catch you guys later.